Hey there guys and welcome back to Uncharted Drake's Fortune. In the last part we entered this underground maze. Which is pretty difficult indeed. I mean really, I have no freaking clue where the hell I'm supposed to... Wait, that chain over there. Uh, okay, it's pretty safe to say that I am lost at this point. Okay, there's these stupid fire chandelier things here. Crap. Maybe I should have paused in between those things. No, oh, well, I respawn right here, so... Shouldn't be much of a problem. Can I make the jump over there? Uh, that kinda seems like a gamble of long odds. I think I've already been there. Eh, this is definitely the way we need to go. Just beware the frickin' boxes. Wait, can't I do it like this? That would be safe. Wait for it. Number four. Oh, oh there's a little thingy here, a little ledge. Did not see that one, but maybe this. Yeah, this looks better. Oh crap! Fragile elevators for the win. Well, I can see a, s a plate with the five sign on it, and we needed to follow two, five, and seven. So I'd say that's definitely where we need to go, but we can't climb that freaking wall. There's a gate. Where do we go? See if you can find a way to get this gate open. I'll wait here. Sure, I'll do the work. Oh, change of camera angle. Yes, I think I got it. Yeah, we can go in here. Sweet. What the hell? What the hell was that? Did you I saw something white flash through there for a moment. Damn, that's a sturdy pot. Don't know why I wanted to try and break it. Oh well. Let's see, we had to open the gate, but how? Um, What's this? Does nothing break here? Okay. Here's the gate. How do we get it open? That kind of looks like a deep canyon you don't really want to fall in. And that jump looks like one we can't make. That makes me very sad face. Uh, oh, we're back here at the elevator. Yeah. Well, it's better than being respawned all the way back before the flaming metal kick great things. Okay, at least now we know where to go. Go right up here. And use all these windows and stuff to climb. Man, it's dark in here. What happened to his flashlight? I mean, I thought Nate had a flashlight on him. Uh, how do we open this thingy? Wait, where does... No, that doesn't go anywhere. Wait, a chain... This might prove helpful. Let's follow this lead, see where it takes us. Oh, that looks like another one of them elevators. Yep, that looks like another one of them fragile elevators, which opens the gate. And creates a bridge there where we just jump to our death. Great. Okay, let's go. Number five on the ground, so we're still heading in the right direction. Uh, let's see. Oh, this looks like the way to go. Uh, what was that? Oh, crap, not those guys again. Just what we didn't need. Hey, Fule! Last man alive gets the gold. You lose. <laughs> Kill them both. This just keeps getting better and better. Indeed, Nate. You are absolutely correct. Holy crap. No, 
You don't get up close and personal like that. Nate doesn't want a man hug. Okay, where are those stinking pirates? Maybe I should take cover behind something that does seem like the better thing to do. Instead of beating this guy up in plain sight where they can- Oh crap, there's a grenade launcher guy among them. Don't like those. As you've probably... You probably know by now if you've watched this LP. Which still not many people do, which still makes me quite sad because... This is one of the best games I've ever played. And it makes me sad that no one seems to be interested in it. Oh well. Maybe it'll change around by the time I do Uncharted 2. I mean, that game was Game of the Year, so people... Surely they must be more interested in that one. I mean, Game of the Year! Doesn't... They don't give that title to every game. But then again, some sites and stuff gave it to freaking Modern Warfare 2, so you might wonder what the hell they're up to. I mean, come on, how can generic sh World War... How can generic shooter game... With... From like the most milked franchise ever be freaking Game of the Year. I call bribing on Activision's side. I mean, come on. Okay. Pop that guy in the head. And you only have 17... Okay. Less than 10 bullets left. I need weapons. Don't need that revolver. It doesn't have any ammo at all. Oh, there we go. Just what the doctor ordered. Okay. Are all the enemies dead? I think so. Oh, crap. Why is everything always in the way when I try to take freaking aim at something? Oh, come on! So unfair! Okay, here we go again. Oh, did I just smash that guy's face in against the stair? Like the barricade? That is awesome. Hooray for smashing in people's faces. Okay, you... I don't like it when people take the high ground, so you can go die as well. I'm the only one who's allowed to have any kind of advantage. Okay, where's stinking grenade launcher guy? He must die in a fire. He should take his own weapon and shoot his head with it. But that would probably kill me too at such close range. Yeah. Smart lesson for gaming, kids. Don't fire rocket launchers at close range because it will almost always kill you in the explosion as well. Oh crap, grenade. Oh, that was nowhere near me. That was quite a small explosion for a grenade, though. Holy crap. Yep, clear shot at him. And my gun's empty. Perfect! Okay, take pot shots at him with a machine gun from long range. Probably never gonna... Okay, ignore what I just said. It pretty much rapes him. Oh, did I shoot him in the leg? Awesome. Okay. Ammo. Could really use that handgun ammo because I'm... Move, Elena! Damn it. Woman, get out of the way. Oh yeah, that guy's also still there. But not anymore. Don't want the shotgun. Shotgun freaking sucks. I think there's some kind of ladder mechanism up there. A ladder mechanism, huh? Okay, guess we'll have to go around and activate it because Elena can't do all these jumps. Hmm. Number four, that's the pole. Number five is through here. Okay. Oh crap. That is a cheap move, naughty dog. If that had killed me, I would be so pissed. Oh, hey, another guy. Don't sneak up on me. Don't like it when you do that. This part is scary enough as it is. Uh, no, not really, but... Later on, like in a few videos from now, this game gets freaking scary as hell. I might be spoiling something, but I got freaking startled playing this. 
like playing that part at 2 a.m. in the morning in the dark in my room by myself it scared the crap out of me uh oh oh sweet I didn't die okay how the hell do we get this ladder thingy working don't want to grab that gr oh of course it's always something obvious that I seem to be missing just because it's so damn dark in here. Still wonder what the hell happened to his flashlight. Okay. Oh great, being shot at again. Crap, that's a lot of guys. Elena, get up here and need some backup. Yeah. Screw Lara Croft. Elena's the best new woman with a gun in gaming. Although she's only a sidekick, Lara Croft plays second fiddle to no one in the Tomb Raider games. Even though Tomb Raider hasn't really been a major factor in the industry in later years. I mean, Tomb Raider was a big deal back in like the 90s, but nowadays it's pretty much nothing. Okay, are the enemies gone? think they are. I mean, Uncharted is kind of like... The modern day Tomb Raider, except the protagonist doesn't have a huge ass rack. Yeah. Now, I really hope this leads somewhere too. It's not a freaking dead end. Well, as long as there's enemies, you can pretty much always say you're on the right path. Because why would they put enemies in a path you don't even need to go? I mean, then just going the wrong way should be penalty enough, but... So there's no need for additional enemies. Let's see, number six. Don't need to go there. Don't want the AK. Let's see, what plate do we have here? This one might... Number one, that's not right either. I can't find any more number twos, number fives, or number sevens. Oh wait, staircase. Let's see where that takes me. I hope this leads somewhere. Okay, any golden number plates around here? Apparently not, so we'll just keep on going. Why are we walking? Oh, cutscene. This place looks rather gloomy. Yeah. There's nothing here. This is getting so old. Nate? It's Drake. He never found it. He just died here. So much for greatness. Wasted his life for nothing. Nate, are you ready to get moving? Yeah. More than ever. There's got to be a way out of here. I hope there's a way out here. I don't want to die here with my great, 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 great grandpa. That would suck. Looks like there's some kind of machinery up there. You can reach it if you give me a boost. Okay, let's boost her up there so we can get the hell out of here. Uh, up there. Get out of the way. Why do you keep getting in the way? <laughs> Come on. Now you're heavier than you look. Can you reach it? Mm -hmm. Looks like an old hoist or something. There's a rope. I'll try to lower it down to you. Oh, I see a tunnel. We can get out this way. Hello, boys. Oh. Easy, Eddie. Easy. What the hell's going on out there? Didn't you see them? 
Oh, no. Oh, God, no. We're trapped. Jesus, what is that? We're dead. We're all dead. No! 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 Eddie, get back here. Oh, crap. Jake, if we don't make it out of here, I just want you to know, I hate your guts. Yeah, likewise, pal. Now let's do this. Best cliffhanger ever.